Hi guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. Today I want to take a look at the Mission Gold, Mission Gold Class watercolor paints. Uh, these are made in Korea. Its uh, brand is Magello. And uh, this has been very popular in both uh, artists' community as well as uh, crafters so I wanted to uh, try them out I originally bought just the tube sets which was I believe I don't know 34 colors or something like that with the bigger tubes and then I realized that I didn't have um, a palette to uh, accommodate uh, the, that many um, colors so I was looking into buying uh, the palette and the palette alone is like 20 something uh, on Amazon so I just decided to get the uh, uh, the palette set uh, along with the uh, water the, well, the small watercolor tubes uh, that's for like 57 or something like that uh, uh, from Amazon by uh, crush on seller I believe and so um, I bought them and then I tried them out already and um, I kind of did the uh, the color chart here. I am going to uh, probably laminate this so that I don't uh, lose the um, the space to if I need a bigger mixing palette. So I'm just gonna leave it like so. Uh, that's why it's cut a lot smaller than this um, size right here and I don't know if you can tell but I did the color chart backwards so I went ahead and did it this way and it's supposed to be like this way right or something like that whatever but uh, I think I really like these uh, watercolor paints and so I I'm not going to go uh, do a color chart with you guys uh, because of the fact that there's so many reviews already on this product um, on YouTube land so uh, you can check out any of the other uh, people's reviews but I did do a color chart here for you guys I'll take a picture of it and then um, I will post it on my blog and the ones that has a black um, so it's kind of hard to see let me bring you in a little bit more so this is a 36 color set that uh, included the palette and so the ones that have these um, uh, squared off ones are the ones that is single pigments because a lot of people were saying that uh, this has a lot of I guess mixed pigments and so I went ahead and wrote down all the information like the pigments as well as like uh, what uh, series that th these paints are in uh, as well as the uh, light fastness here and then I also did the transparency as well as the staining so um, the circles are at the bottom you can see oops my uh, camera sorry about that so it tells you uh, the light fastness of all the colors as well as the transparency and then um, uh, as well as whether they're staining colors semi staining and staining and things like that and I marked it all on um, the chart so I'll go ahead and post this uh, it's very uh, bright and vivid uh, colors and these are artist quality uh, paints so I'm really happy that um, I got it because I really like them a lot so I've been doing some uh, playing around just to get used to the colors and so I've been just uh, oops bring you back out so I've been just kind of doodling here and there and um, just to see the colors and how they behave. This is like a really thin, this is actually a sketchbook so the paper is not a watercolor um, paper at all. It's super thin and um, but I was just playing around with the colors so I just made some circles and I color them in and then um, so I, I also did this as well 
but some of these actually are not uh, the Mission Gold class because I was playing around with other paints. I believe like the greens here and the these reds are from the Van Gogh uh, watercolors, but the rest are um, uh, the Mission Gold. And then I've also done some playing around here, doodling uh, florals and um, playing with my brushes as well. Um, so that's what I did, some playing around. Another thing that I got was, um, I've been, I waited a long time for this. This is the Painterly Days Flower, the watercoloring book. Uh, so it's a watercoloring, uh, coloring, adult coloring book uh, by Christy Rice. And this is fabulous. I love it, love it. The paper is watercolor paper, so you can do a lot of uh, wet, uh, wet to wet washes as well as it can take up a whole lot of water, I've uh, noticed. So this is the first page, and this actually is not Mission Gold uh, watercolor paints. These are, mm, uh, I forgot what it was, but it might come to me. But then um, I did the other side, which is exactly the same uh, picture. So their picture is um, on both sides. So you can play around with this side and if you don't like it you still have the other side and there's no bleed through uh, from the pic uh, the paint so that's fabulous and so um, it looks like that and then uh, it kind of like she has a lot of different other ones this is the flower one but there are other ones and uh, I'll kind of flip through real fast to show you it's really beautiful, gorgeous, all florals. I love uh, coloring florals. And I love the fact that it's on watercolor paper, so then you can use all of your watercolor paints. So that's fabulous, because I've added a lot of water to the ones that I um, kind of tested out on the front page. And um, like I said, there's no bleed through, and um, it can take a lot of water, I notice. So this is like fantastic, I love it. Like, I want to get the other ones. So, yeah. So, this was the Mission Gold one here. And I did a lot of glazing on the leaves. If you can see here. Bring you in. So, like, for these, I put, so, I, I put a lot of water on the leaves. And I just dropped in the color. And then and that's how vibrant it was. And then, as you can see, these two are, like, my favorite colors. And they are the least light, light fast colors. I believe this is the bright opera. And this is the bright um, clear violet. Uh, the ones that has a bright in the front are not as light fast. That's what I've learned. Um, but they are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the uh, camera is not really uh, doing the justice of how bright and intense these colors are. And I've done so many glazes on top of these leaves here. And it just keeps glazing and it doesn't interfere with the bottom layers, which is what I love. And so... Um, We'll go ahead and uh, it's kind of odd um, to kind of sh share and do a page. I have, I'll just flip it over here because my desk area right now is kind of a mess. And it rewets so easily. So it took about like three days for this to dry here. I think and that's because there's a lot of humidity here in Hawaii. But um, they dried really well. So I'm going to go ahead and um, kind of... These are like the different greens I tried. Uh, let me get it in camera so we can like color this so you can obviously do a wet to wet so like I'm adding like tons of water like this brush is um it holds a lot of water this is a super old brush but this is one of my favorite and this is the Kalinsky and so it uh, holds a lot of water and let's try 
since I've already done uh, the clear bright clear violet as well as the bright opera uh, let's try the red violet which is right next to the um, what is that the bright opera so getting the colors you can see here so as you can see this brush holds tons of water sometimes too much so and I'm sorry about the ukulele noise if you can hear that that's probably my daughter and then you can see how gorgeous the colors are and it's so easy to work with I love it so like it's wet to wet right now so So let me know if you try these paints out and let me know if you guys like it. I've been seeing like everyone use it after I came back uh, from Korea. And uh, the thing is though, like uh, the price at Korea, it's not um, that much less uh, than what it is on Amazon right now and actually it actually costs a little bit more in Korea that's that was pretty funny so um, I actually ordered this on Amazon and I didn't want to bring back any uh, art supplies or anything like that um, while I was there but uh, yeah maybe like the silver class which is their student line maybe that might be a little cheaper i don't know because they have the student line um on amazon and it costs more than the um gold class their student line is called um like silver class or something like that and the uh the gold class is uh cheaper kind of weird but yeah so I really, really love this coloring book, guys. That's why I've been like s sitting, like, you know, watching TV, like coloring. And um, that's why like I haven't been in my room because I've been like just enjoying the watercolor. And um, because the other coloring books obviously are not really meant for, um, you can see I'm putting like tons of water here. And then these are like perfect for those of us that love to like watercolor and then uh, color on your coloring books. It's fantastic. So you can see how bright and vivid and how easily it rewets. And you can go over and over. Um, I noticed because while I was doing the leaves, uh, I would go over it like so many times like this. I love this green, which is a, uh, the bright green that is right here is a sap green. That's their sap green. Really like it. And all you have to do is put a wet brush and then it just um, re-wet so easily in this palette. Oops, see this is what I do. Because um, I wanted to get into right here. So this is like I'm going on dry. So much fun, guys. Love it. And I love these watercolors. I think more so is because um, for us, like crafters, when you know we played with like um, the popular watercolors, like the Gonzai Tam Tambi, the Koi. Um, and uh, peerless and things like that it's kind of like geared more towards um, like crafters 
and then now we're getting um, a feel of like the artist quality so I think like that's really uh, great because we get we get to try out like um, you know not that the other ones are bad or anything they're still fabulous but the fact that like we can like you know try these uh, this watercolor and doesn't really cost that much uh, as like some other artists uh, watercolors so I really like that so I know I'll be making a lot of um, cards uh, for Christmas like with watercolors <laughs> so right now I went back and I usually wait until it kind of dries a little bit before I glaze but I'm just going directly it's still kind of wet and it's um, still kind of uh, see how intense the color can be So this is kind of like a little review of the watercolors as well as the um, this watercolor coloring book, which is awesome. And then I keep building on over and over once it's dried. Like this is still wet. But like if we were to like, I messed up over there, try to see if I can scrub it out. You can a little bit. Yeah, so you can see that I've done a lot of glazes here. So yeah, guys. This is um, pretty awesome. I love it. So shortly, we'll be making some cards with it. So if you guys have tried it out, let me know if you like them or not. Just a little demo. I don't even know if I was in frame. Sorry about that. And then we can kind of do some more colors here. And this is kind of helping me um, learn to kind of use the watercolors and as well as um, like kind of um, helping me get e like whether I want to even wash or um, if I want to like make it um, like the gradient effect. It's like it's helping me um, get more, I guess, familiarized with uh, the watercolor so there you go so that's a quick look at this fantastic coloring book I don't want to close it because it's still wet, but, um, you know, it looks like that. It's painterly days, 
and she has a lot of different um, several uh, of these so you see the I'll zoom out it's pretty cool I love it So here you go, here's the color chart of the 36 colors, Mission Gold, uh, made in uh, Korea, uh, Magello is the company, uh, and they have both um, gold class, which is professional, and the silver class, which is their student grade. But um, I am thinking that the person, the Krishan, uh, the company, whatever, the distributor that's selling uh, may be from uh, Korea. Maybe that's why uh, the paints are uh, so greatly priced. Uh, that is my just thought because um, I kind of talked to them back and forth um, regarding something and I it seems that's how it is. There's another... Uh, seller that's on um, Amazon that also sells the Mission Gold uh, besides the Crushon company it's another company and they were saying like the presidents were like friends or something like that and so I don't know so I mean they get back to you right away if you have any questions and stuff and I really love it I really like um, this Mission Gold uh, watercolors so that's it I'm not gonna like you know do like I said full on like swatches and things like that because there's a lot of reviews already on YouTube so go ahead and check those out I just wanted to quickly share the uh, watercolors as well as the coloring book so I hope you guys liked what you see and um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys back soon and we'll like make some watercolor cards. Okay, thank you guys so much and I always appreciate all of your support. You guys are fantastic um, and I'll see you guys back real soon. Thanks so much. Bye.